Hello. With over 50 years of solid experience, I am Corey, the Psychic Astrologer, Tarot Master, Metaphysician, and aid and guide as a life coach to many over the decades. I have many insightful experiences to share. Right now, I will share with you the issue of worry. Worry is one of the most prevalent problems in the world, and worry is a negative prayer. We get what we ask for, and unfortunately, worry sets us up for some bad luck. Worry is an ordinary and heartfelt part of life, being concerned about people we care for or personal situations that have a feeling of risk. Worry is a type of fear. There is a profound psychological, spiritual, metaphysical, and magical issue with this state of mind. Worry may have positive intentions, but usually dramatically negative results for everyone involved when carried to extremes. The contemporary scientists of the mind label the results of preoccupation with worry a symptom of anxiety, which is fear. Often leading to depression. According to science, <clears throat> worry creates and is also caused by chemical changes in our brain. <clears throat> but even if it is a chemical, the feeling is real. The chemical change in the brain can cause an anxious feeling to snowball into a panic attack. Worry can even ruin physical health and at worst suicide caused by depression from unresolved concerns and fears. People believing in a spirit realm, no repetition of any words or thoughts as a call for a request granted by the universe. Ask and it shall be given. Thoughts or words repeated and repeated, even unintentionally, is presented as a request to be granted by the constant call of negativity to the universe. You don't need to believe in whistling. You don't need to think it has any power. But if you do it long enough, the dogs will come. This is known as the law of attraction. Worrying about another person puts a cloud of negativity over their life. And with unintended prayer of worry, visualizing bad things happening to them. Constant worry actually shapes the creation of our personal reality. In the beginning there was the Word, and all we create starts with the formation of ideas taking shape as words and then images in our mind. Instead of worrying about someone, visualize them in their success and focus on feelings of the happiness all will share when any resolve is concerned. See them receiving blessings and feel the joy they will feel when concern disappears. Send them your imagined good feelings of the outcome if there is a true desire to help them. Just as the Bible says we are to pray unceasing, we do that unintended because our life is a living prayer being asked and answered with every breath. Repeated thoughts and words of worry 
is an unceasing negative prayer bringing anxiety, depression, and fear. As we think and as we say is how unfolds this very day. Visualize and imagine feelings you want. Imagine the feeling even if you must fake it till you make it, because pretending works too. Concern without a plan is worry. Therefore, the best way to deal with worry is to confront it with a plan to eliminate the concern. Any plan will work to eliminate the worry. Any plan puts a light at the end of the tunnel and creates hope. Having just any plan and focusing on the joy felt when resolve creates the solution as the universe takes over the details. Focus on the feeling with your imagination experiencing the joy felt when the concern is resolved. This is the real solution to alleviate worry. Embrace the bliss you expect to unfold. It will when you expect it. It will when you allow yourself in your imagination to feel yourself experiencing the bliss of satisfaction of having worry removed from your life. Any plan puts a light at the end of the tunnel and creates hope. Just having any plan and focusing on the joy felt when resolved creates the solution as the universe takes over. Focus on the feeling with your imagination. Experiencing the joy felt when the concern is resolved, this is the real solution to alleviate worry. I repeat myself. Focus on the desired feeling of a positive outcome. Your desired feeling is important. Your desired feeling might be security rather than joy. Your desired feeling might be relief rather than bliss. Your desired feeling is what you need to imagine and focus on having it as the goal, not the results. The results will bring the satisfaction and the results of your plan should be refined and directed by the universe rather than dealt on by you. Focus on the desired feeling of a positive outcome. Let the universe provide the shaping of the plan in its own perfection and just feel the happiness of the outcome and the joy it brings. What we see is what we get. See and feel the joy of the results and let the universe refine and reshape your plan and don't worry about those details. Focus on the feelings. Imagine the feelings. Create the feelings that will be the end result, not the details that cause things to come about in your favor. Worry out of control can be a blessing to desire the union with the higher power, begging for a plan, a solution, a divine intervention to relieve the concern. People have said they got religion when they lost in worry and fear. People get religion when they are lost in worry and fear. They give up. And when we give up, that's when we have the opportunity to be at one with creation. Because what we give up is ego, willfulness, stubbornness, a preoccupation with things having to go our own way. Giving up can put you into a closer union with creation. Worry can motivate constructive action, causing dams to be built to control floods and many other impressive acts like saving money for a rainy day. Worry can help shape our world into a serene paradise. Worry can be a blessing when addressed with a plan 
enriching our lives, and love casts out fear. Making our solutions an act of love is a dedication of our resolution. I promise, darling, to do this for you. That's a beautiful way to direct our concern for being able to make a plan for the solution of our concerns. Making a re resolution can eliminate a, another person's worry when we make a promise to please them. I'll do it for you, darling. That's an act of love, and it's a motivation for helping to remove that worry, that preoccupation with anxiety and fear of negativity being focused on. Worry can exhaust a person and ruin lives. These simple steps I have given you are worth listening to many times until you get the mastery. The mastery is accomplished and your life will belong to you. In the Bible, Proverbs says, a person who can control their emotions is more powerful than a general that takes a city in battle. Be powerful by focusing on joy. Be powerful by focusing on what your desired feelings in the resolution of worry will be. What we think and what we say is what becomes this very day. So be careful what you think and what you say, because life is a living prayer, being asked and answered with every breath. Be careful what you pray for unintentionally. Be mindful. Pay attention to the words and the thoughts that are a part of your life. Focus on the bliss. Focus on the positive. Focus on what is life enhancing. Focus on the strengths of the people around us rather than denigrating and making issue of the deficiencies. It all works out. You will prevail when you focus on making your life happen rather than just letting it happen to you. Many of these thoughts and ideas can be found in Corey's Kindle book, Handbook of Dealing with Fools. It's funny. It's a retelling of the book of Proverbs written by Solomon in today's language. It leaves out the negativity and accents what is positive, growth-enhancing, love-supporting, and vitalizing. Actually, very little has changed, only putting things into today's terminology. That's the Handbook of Dealing with Fools, a Kindle book you will enjoy. Take care. Thank you so 